Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the Relationship Guru, Sin For Real. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out with any questions, concerns, or anything that you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. Okay? All right. So we're going to jump right into the video because I just got a message for one of my dear clients, and they wanted to know, why do men try to trap women with a baby? So why men will purposefully try to get you pregnant in order for you to have their baby? And they have really no intentions on being with you per se. They just want you to have this baby. Like, why do men try to trap you with this baby? And, you know, what's the reason behind it? And how to not get trapped? And how to even prevent it? And what's the reason behind why men do it? Okay? So, I'm going to explain all of that in this video, ladies. So, watch the whole video. Stay tuned because it's a banger video. It's one part of one of the best videos out that you can ever hear about trapping women with babies and why men do it and a lot of stuff like that. So, we're going to jump right into this video. Okay? So, I have five reasons why men will try to trap women with a baby. But before I get to these five reasons why, let's talk about how men trap women with a baby. Like, let's talk about that. So, so ladies, word of advice, you have to be very, very, very careful about who you are having sex with and especially unprotected sex with. Because if you do not see yourself marrying this man or you know that you don't want a child with this man or you don't want nothing serious with this man, then you should definitely, if you are going to have sex with him, make sure that you protect yourself. Wear a condom or be on birth control or something. I know a lot of women, you know, you say certain things about birth control or whatever. Okay, that's fine. But make sure that he's wearing a condom. Make sure that he is protecting himself and that you are protecting yourself. Like, do not be having sex, raw sex, and unprotected sex with men that you know that you do not want a baby with. Or men that you know that you do not see a future with. You know? If it's just like a man that you're just dealing with and it's just sex and it's just something that y'all just doing or whatever. Y'all need to start protecting yourself. Because you do not want to end up in a situation where this man is your baby daddy and now you're stuck with him. Because you have to be very careful about who you have a family with or who you have kids with. Because... That can really dictate a lot of things in your life, you know, because you might not even like the man. You might not even want nothing to do with him, but now you got a baby by him. He might be a bum. He might be a deadbeat baby daddy. You know, he might be saying all this stuff now. Yeah, I'm going to take care of the kid. Yeah, I want a kid by you. Da, 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 and all that. But at the same time, when y'all actually do have that kid, now he's ghost. Now he don't want to be in a kid's life and stuff like that. And then now, now you're like dividing the families. Now your kid got to go over his house some days and then over your house some days and then back and forth and back and forth and it's all this stuff. So if you don't want any of that to avoid all of that and then just even in your personal dating life, like when you have a baby daddy and now, you know, or, or controlling baby daddy or, you know, he might be crazy or he might, you know, be very territorial over you. So now any relationship that you do get into now is like, oh, wow, you know, I don't want... I don't want no other men to touch her. I don't want no other men around her. So I'm going to mess up her dating life. You know, he, he's going to try to, you know, pop up at your house or try to make sure you're not doing what you what you want to do. Or, you know, he's going to prevent certain men from trying to talk to you or, you know, stuff like that. Because, you know, a lot of men don't want to deal with, you know, the crazy baby daddy and all that stuff. So he's going to purposefully try to sabotage your relationships. Right. So that's something else that you gotta be prepared for. And then just the damage that it does to your child, just going back and forth, back and forth, and then y'all arguing, y'all, you might not even like the man, you know? So just to avoid all that, be careful, ladies, about who you give your body to. Be careful about who you are having unprotected sex with. Be careful about who you having sex with, period. Because a lot of these men are not good men for you in the future. And you don't want to, you want to avoid a lot of things that you don't have to go through by wearing a condom or by being on birth control or just protecting yourself in general. Like, it's so many contraceptives that you can use. It's a lot of things that you can use to prevent from having children if you are going to have sex, okay? 
So that's just a disclaimer. You just have to be careful about who you're having sex with. Now, let's talk about how men trap women with a baby, okay? So the way how men trap women with a baby is a few ways how men trap women with a baby. One way a man traps women with a baby is just by telling you what you want to hear. By basically, you know, and, and it's in the moment. A lot of times it's in the moment. It's before y'all even having sex, right? Like, this starts even before y'all start having sex. Before the actual act of the intercourse, what does he do? Y'all not even use a protection. That's the first way. The first way how he's how he's trapping you with the baby is by not using protection. And then and then by him not using protection with you or you not using protection with him, he it, it, it leaves that room out and in his mind, you don't know what's on this man's mind. This man might purposefully be like, okay, I know that I'm not having protected sex with her. So I know that if I come a little late or if I ejaculate in her a little late, then, you know, she can have my son or she can have my daughter or she can have my child in general, you know? And a lot of men, you don't know how these men are thinking. So don't even set yourself up for that, you know? So, I, so like I said, wear a condom. Make sure he has a condom. Do not be having sex, random sex with anybody without a condom if you do not see yourself being with that person for the rest of your life. Or you don't see that person being the father of your child. Or you don't see that person being your husband one day. You know, you shouldn't even be trying to have a baby with a man outside of uh, being married to him anyways. But I understand things happen. But to prevent that, I'm trying to just tell you and just let you know that before you even get in the midst of actually having sex, make sure that you are protected. That's the first step. Make sure you are protected. Protect yourself. Make sure he's protected. Okay? That's the first step. Now, the second step, okay, this is another way how men trap women with the baby, you know? It's like when y'all are when y'all are actually having sex, when y'all are actually having intercourse, right? In the bedroom or wherever y'all at, and he's in your ear telling you all these things. He's like, Yeah, you know, baby, yeah, you know, uh, I just want to come in you. Uh, are uh, you gonna let me come in you? I wanna I want you to have my baby. I'm gonna take care of it. I love you so much. Da -da -da -da. You know, and you as a woman, you caught up in a moment. So he just, so you just let your guard down and you just like, okay, just come in me. Just, 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 you know, come in me. You know what I'm saying? Just have sex with me. Just come in me. Just, just, you know, nut in me, all that stuff, right? Go ahead and nut in me, okay? And, and that man, he, he not even in his right mind because when you are in the actual act of having sex, you're not thinking straight. You don't know what's going on. You in your mind, like you just want to nut. As a man, you just like I just want to know. I don't care what what goes on. You don't care in a moment, Tom. But but that thirty seconds of you coming of him nutting, that can lead to a lifetime of of pure hell for you. You know, and you don't want to go through that. That can lead to a lifetime of pure resentment for you and to him. You know, because y'all might not even like each other. You know, or not might not even be compatible with each other. So when that man's all in your ear telling you, oh yeah, baby, just let me come in you. I want you to have my baby. I want you to have this. You know all that? No, don't, no, do not come in me. Don't come in me. Don't tell that man to come in you if you don't want him to come in you and you don't want those consequences of y'all having a kid together. And you don't, you might not even know the dude for real. You might not even like the dude for real. You might not even really be attracted to the dude for real. It's just sex for you, you know? He might not even be your cup of tea per se. It's just something to do in the moment. So don't even get caught up in that. So that's my advice to you. So that's another way how men will trap you is just by telling you what you want to hear. So another way how a man will trap you is some men will self-sabotage the whole process of, you know, him basically getting you pregnant because he will, in the midst of you, you know, having sex with him, he'll take off the condom. It's, it happens sometimes. Some men will take off the condom. While, while you're having sex with him. Let's say he's hitting you from the back, right? Let's say y'all doing doggy style, he hitting you from the back. You can't even see what's going on, you know, behind you. You know, you just you just looking forward, face down in the pillow, whatever. But you don't know what he's doing behind you. When he pull it out, he might snatch your column off and put it back in and be going. And then you like, wait a minute, this feel kind of weird. Wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, it feel too good. Like, it feel too good. And that's because he might have snatched off that column because he's trying to purposefully get you pregnant. You know, so you have to be aware of that. So just make sure another way how you can make sure as a woman that he always has that column on is just feel down there sometimes like you got your hands right. Feel down there sometimes and make sure that when he's going in and out of you, make sure that that condom is on. You can feel it. You can feel it with your hands. 
So, so, so rub down there and feel that he's going in and out of you with that rubber on, with that collar on. You can feel it, and you just know, you know, consciously, consciously in your mind that okay, he's still wearing a condom. Okay. So th th throughout sex, all throughout sex, just make sure when you see him, like when you a missionary, you can see it. But like in certain positions when you can't see him going inside you, make sure you just feel down there. Make sure you feel down there to make sure that he still has a condom on. Okay. So that's that. So those are a few ways how men do try to trap women with a baby. Now let's talk about why men try to trap women with the baby. Okay. So ladies, I have five reasons why men will try to trap women with a baby five reasons why men will get you pregnant on purpose five reasons why okay so here go five reasons why men will get you pregnant on purpose all right so number one number one is he wants control and permanent access in your life so you got to understand that once this man does get you pregnant and stuff like that and let's say y'all don't have a plan b you don't get an abortion y'all just have the baby right let's just say you have the baby okay you have the baby boom all right so when you have the baby you gotta understand that he will always be your baby daddy for the rest of your life he is your baby daddy it ain't no way around it whether you hate his guts whether he is there for the child or not whether whatever he will always be your baby daddy. So he knows that he will have permanent access in your life forever. So so even if even if you stop talking to him, even if you know anything happens and he moves away to another state or something, he's still the father of your child no matter what. So he still got that 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 leverage or that type of access to you, you know? And then especially if he's like involved in your child's life, then it's like you have no choice but to talk to this man, you know, because y'all are in a co-parenting relationship now. So now you have no, no choice but to talk to him. And again, you might not even like him. You, it might have just been a one night stand. It might have just been a dude that you just saw at the club one night and you just wanted some sex. Or a dude that you just saw at work or at school or or at your, or wherever you are at the grocery store or wherever. And you just met him and you just thought he was cool and whatever. And y'all just met and have sex or whatever. And okay, boom. And then now it's like, dang, you know, I'm pregnant now. You know, and, and, and again, you don't even want to be in that situation. So because if you're in that situation, now you have to talk to him now you have to have him in your life now he has to be there because he he's around your kid he is your, it's y'all kid so now now you can't even escape him you know so it's not going to be as easy for you to leave that man or leave that situation alone if it's a bad situation if y'all got a kid together sometimes when y'all have a kid together it just complicates everything because it's like you can't necessarily just leave him all the way alone you know, when, when that man gets on your nerves and you don't want to deal with him no more and he's doing some foul stuff to you or it's just not working out, he's just not compatible with you, now it's like you have no way of cutting him off because you still got a co-parent, you know? You still have to co-parent, you know, in certain situations. Now, I understand, you know, you know, you might let that man go and he might go off and do his own thing and you might be stuck raising the child by yourself, which is also a thing that you don't want to do. And that's why I'm telling y'all to protect yourself because that's something that you don't want to do. You don't want to be, you know, a single mother and not have no help with the child that you had help with creating. But now you don't have help with raising, you know, you had help when I was in the bedroom making that baby. But then as soon as y'all made the baby, you don't have no help raising the baby, you know. So now you're stuck by yourself raising this baby and that and that's financially that's everything that's that's just energy draining like you can't do what you want to do anymore like it's a lot that goes on with having a kid especially being a single mother so to avoid being a single mother or to avoid being with a man that you don't even want to be with you might not even like him or you might not even want nothing to do with him make sure you just protect yourself again 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 but back to number one he will have control and permanent access in your life so he's always gonna be a baby daddy and that is basically his way of marking his territory. When a man ejaculates into you, when a man comes in you, he nuts in you, whatever, that is him marking his territory. That's him basically just putting his DNA, that's, that's the ultimate way of marking your territory somewhere, is by getting a woman pregnant because that's basically saying, I, that's mine. I claim this. This is mine. 
So that is that control part. Like, this is mine. I'm territorial. This is mine. I'm marking my territory. This is mine. I'm conquering this. I want this. This is mine, you know? And he knows that this will always be mine forever because you can't, because at the end of the day, I, no matter how, how much you flip it, I'm still your baby daddy at the end of the day. So it don't matter how you feel. So that's that. And then, like I said, he always wants control. And then he always wants a say-so in your life. And to dictate your life and what you do. Now he got a little bit of say so. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But a lot of times he might have a little bit of a say so when it comes to, you know, you and your child. Because it's also his child too. So if you, so if he say, oh, I don't want other men around my kid. Let's say you're dating a man. Let's say you're dating a new man and you moved on. Now he's like, I don't want no other man dating. I don't want no other man around my kid that you dating. I don't want no other man around my kid trying to raise my kid. And it, it just, it just comes a whole bunch of just conflict that you don't want to have to deal with. You know, that's one way, that's one reason why a man will try to trap you with a baby is because he wants control and parental access in your life. Basically, I'm your baby daddy. I ain't going nowhere. Hey, I'm here to stay. You can't do nothing about it. We already made this baby. Hey, even if you put me on child support, I'm still a, I'm still the baby daddy. Even if you don't like me, I'm still the baby daddy. You still got to deal with me. I'm still here. It don't matter if you don't like me or not. I'm still here. And I can make your life hell. I can, I can make your life miserable i can make your life just just a, a, a nightmare a bad dream you know and you don't want to have to go through that okay all right number two number two is reason the reason why the second reason why a man will try to trap a woman with the baby is to sit you down and to take you off the market so this man when he came in you and he nutted in you he already had in his mind he said you know what? I want to take her off the market because keep in mind, this man might really, really like you or he might really, really want that power and control over you. So he want to sit you down because let's just say you're a girl. You like to go out. You like to have fun. You, you, you outside all the time. You like to be in different crowds, different scenes. You at this club, you at that club, you hanging out with your friends. You got a social life, right? Let's say you're a woman that has a social life. A lot of men do not like women with a social life because if you have a social life, then that means there's other men around you in that social life. And that means that again, he's trying to mark his territory. So if he can nut in you and he can get you pregnant, now now I have to now I can sit you down. Now I'm sitting you down. It ain't no hot girl summer no more. You pregnant? You pregnant? It's pregnant girl summer now. It ain't no hot girl summer. You pregnant? You can't you can't go out no more. Why? Cause you pregnant. You can't drink no more with your friends no more. You can't smoke no more with your friends no more. You can't go out to eat and eat certain foods. With, you know, because, you know, you can't eat certain foods when you're pregnant, certain certain type of foods or stuff like that. Or you can't drink or you can't smoke. You know what I'm saying? So I'm sitting you down. I'm sitting you down. I'm sitting you down. You ain't no hot girl summer. You know what I'm saying? And, and basically now you have to be a mother now. So now I'm keeping you in the house. Now I'm keeping you outside of that glitz and glam and that fun time and the outside and the, and the, yeah, we outside, we party and that lifestyle that you was used to. He taking all that away. Cause guess what? Now you got to be a mother. Now you have to settle down. Now you have to be more domesticated. Now you have to be in the house more instead of being outside. He don't want you outside. So he said, if I can get you pregnant, I can have a power control and dominance and permanent access in your life. And I can take you off the market and sit you down and I'm taking away your whole world of social life so that now you can only focus on me. Get it? Now you can only focus on me because I'm your baby daddy and now we got to raise this kid together. So now that we raising this kid together, you can't focus on everything else because now you have to be a mother because now your, your maternal instincts are going to kick in and you're going to be more attentive and more loving with your child and more nurturing with your child and that's going to be your main focus other than everything else and partying and having fun, you know? So that's, that's, that's his mindset. So now he's like, okay, it ain't going to be no more hot girl summer. It ain't going to be no more of that. It ain't going to be more, no more fun. I'm taking all that fun away because you you doing too much. He felt like you was doing too much. He felt like, oh, this girl always outside. Oh, she always, she in every club. She twerking on these dudes or she having fun. All these dudes got access to her. You know, she getting these numbers by these dudes. These dudes want to take her out and she got, you know, dudes coming at her and wanting to talk to her and stuff like that. I'm going to get her pregnant. I'm going to get her pregnant. If I get her pregnant, ain't nobody going to want her while she's pregnant, even though some men will. 
you know, on some weird stuff. There's a lot of men that will still talk to you if you're pregnant. It don't matter. But it will take away a lot of men. It will cut down on a lot of men that will want you because if you're pregnant at the time, a lot of men might look at you and be like, oh, you're pregnant. Oh, you know, I'm cool. You know, even though a lot of men will have sex with anything and there are men that will have sex with pregnant women. I'm not saying that because men still will smash anything. But at the same time, you know, just the thought, the thought process behind it is, you know, you won't have access to as much as you did or you'll be inside and not outside. So I'm sending you down. I'm taking you off the market. So ain't no more outside. Ain't no more hot girl summer. OK, so that's that. So he just want to sit you down and keep you and keep you and take you off the market and keep you in the house. OK, so number three. So the third reason why men will try to trap you with a baby is because he always wanted children and he likes your physical features. And he feels like you will give him pretty kids or, you know, he feels like you'll give him attractive kids. So basically what I mean by that is this man, he always wanted kids, right? He always wanted a family. He always wanted children, right? He wants children for whatever reason. He wants children. There's some men out here that just want children. They don't want the commitment part. They just want to create children and build a legacy and just have a child. You know, maybe he might take care of the kid. But still, even still, he still don't have no intent on marrying you. He still has no intent on marrying you. He still does not want to marry you. He just wants, he don't want the commitment part. He just wants the benefits of just you having your kid. So when I say he looks at your physical features, he looks at you like you're a pretty girl, right? You're a pretty woman. You're a pretty female. You're pretty, right? You're pretty. You got, you got, you know, he, he looks at certain features. Maybe you're just a pretty girl. You know, maybe he looks at your hair, your, your skin color, you know, your, your, your facial structure, your body built. He looks at all that. And he says, you know what? He sits back and he views you and he looks at you and he sizes you up. And he says, you know what? Me and her can make some pretty kids together. I'm, I know I'm an attractive man or I'm semi-attractive Whatever the man is, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, or, and then he looks at you, he like, oh, that's a pretty woman. You know, I can, I know that me and her could probably make some pretty kids together. And some men, they just naturally look at women to just have sex with them and get them pregnant because he wants those type of features on his kids. So let's say that you are, you know, a dark skinned girl. Maybe he wants his kids to be dark skinned, you know? Boom, there you go, you know? He's like, okay, I can pick a dark-skinned girl. I want my kids to be dark-skinned. Boom, okay, you a light-skinned girl. I want my kids to be light-skinned. Boom, okay, bam, you know? So it's, it's, it's certain features like that, you know? Oh, this girl got long hair. Oh, I like that, I like that, Uh, those features. I want my kids to have long, long hair. Boom, oh, this girl, she's short, she real short. Okay, I want my kids to be short. Or this girl tall, I want my kids to be tall. Or this girl, I like her size, I like how she's built. I want my kids to be built nice like that, you know? Or I want my kids to resemble her. Because, you know, when a man looks at you, you know, a lot of times subconsciously, you know, he's looking at you like, you know, dang, I could, I, you know, we can make some pretty kids together, you know? Like, dang, okay, like she look real good. Like she real pretty, you know? Stuff like that. So that's what attracts you to that's what attracts him to you and that's and that's his that's his instincts as a man to just be like okay she's so pretty I just want to have kids with her because I want my kids to come out that way however way she is whether she's tall skinny short thick light skin dark skin whatever she is whatever that man's preference is I want my kids to look like that so that's basically all that comes down to is he just wants the kids to look like you so he chose you because he wants his kids to look exactly like you. So he's like, dang, this is my chance to have kids and have pretty kids with, with, a, with a woman that, that she looks like. I like the way how she's built. I like the way she acts. I like her characteristics. And I want to, I want to duplicate her. I want to reproduce her. I want to, you know, yeah, reproduce her. I want to procreate with her. So that's what that is. So basically he just wants to, wants to take your physical features and just apply them to the offspring, the kids, the children. He wants to take you and duplicate you. So that's that. So he just likes your, likes your physical features and he just wants pretty children, right? Okay. Or nice looking, attractive children, right? So the fourth reason why men will try to trap you with the baby, the fourth reason is he does not want you to leave him. So this is a man that is selfish. This is a man that... He has abandonment issues. This, this is a man that's trying to fill a void within himself. And he's not happy within himself. 
so that he cannot be alone. So he does not want to be alone at all. Or he just has abandonment issues and he just and he's just afraid of just losing people. And anytime he gets somebody and he loves them, he really cares about them, he wants to hold on to them and never and he never wants them to leave his side. So what's the way how I can make sure that you don't never leave me? Let's say you get mad at me. If you ever get mad at me, no matter what I do to you, what's the number one way how I can make any woman stay with me no matter what in a man's mind? Get her pregnant. I'm going to get her pregnant. If I get her pregnant, she cannot leave me. Where's she going? I'm the baby daddy forever. It doesn't matter. Even if she stopped talking to me, okay, I, we can go to court. Okay, I can still have some type of access to her. Okay, I'm going to do whatever. I can try whatever, you know. And, and you know, and in, and in, he, in his mind, it might not be true because, you know, you can still... You know, he can still get you pregnant and then y'all just have nothing to do with each other. Y'all go y'all separate ways, you know. But in his mind, the way how he's thinking is I'm going to tie her down and she can't go nowhere because I'm the baby daddy. And and if I'm the baby daddy, it doesn't matter. If she get mad at me, if she hate my guts, if she never want to speak to me again, I still, in my mind, I still can tie her down because I'm her baby daddy. And I don't want her, her to never leave me. Maybe you were the best woman that he ever had. Or maybe he just got abandonment issues and he don't want nobody to leave him and he's just selfish and he just wants you all to himself and all of that. Then he just wants to take you off the market and he's just like, okay, I want to shut down all the fun. I just want to shut down everything. I want her to focus on me and I just need that fulfillment because I'm trying to fill a void within myself and I need you to make me happy because I'm dependent on your happiness and I do not want you to leave me because let's say, let's say y'all are on rocky terms or let's say like, like you like you don't really like him like that he can tell that you don't really like him like that he's like okay if i get her pregnant now now she gotta be around me now she has to be here now she ain't going nowhere because i'm her baby daddy so that's how a lot of men think even if it's not necessarily true in some cases it's still true to his mind because that's how he thinks so he's like if i get her pregnant she can't leave me i don't want her to leave me she's the best thing that ever happened to me i love her so much i i need her in my life i don't want her to go nowhere don't leave me baby you the best Woman that I ever had in my life. I can't picture life without you. I need you in my life. I, I'm going to get you pregnant and you can't go nowhere. I'm tying you down. I'm going to get you pregnant on purpose. Okay? So that's number four. He don't want you to leave him. He don't want you to go nowhere. He want to tie you down. That's that. Okay? So number five. Number five. The last one, y'all. Number five. The fifth reason why men will try to trap women with the baby is to cancel out competition with other men. So the way how a lot of men think is if I purposefully get her pregnant, won't no other man want her. She, she in the dating scene, that will take her down some points to a lot of men. And he knows that to a lot of men that may or may not take you down a couple points. The reason why he say that is because he knows that it's a lot of men. If I get you pregnant, okay, he knows that as a man, if I get you pregnant, then I know that. I know that while you're pregnant, yes, it is going to be men that's still going to want you, that's still going to have sex with you, but a lot of men probably won't might not take you seriously. So in his mind, he knows if I purposefully get her pregnant, let's say you are pregnant for those nine months and you're showing, right? He knows that, okay, there are going to be men that's going to have sex with you that don't care, right? Because they feel like, those other men feel like, oh, well, I could bust in her, I could come in her, I could nut in her, and I can do all of that. And, she, and she's already pregnant, so I can't get her pregnant, you know? So they'll mess with you because of that, because so they can have raw sex with you, and they can come, and they can bust, and you're already pregnant, so it don't matter you know stuff like that or you know they they just they just they, you know that it's that pregnant vagina you know they say oh pregnant vagina is the best because it's so wet and whatever all the extra stuff right so you know because of that so there are men that will still have sex with you but it's going to be a lot more men that may have wanted to have sex with you before but now that you're pregnant it, it kind of took you off the market and they and they kind of backed away now they like uh i, I don't, I don't want to deal with that like damn she got a baby damn she got pregnant oh you know she got pregnant oh no nah, dang man dang i don't want her no more now you know now she pregnant now she tied up with another man's baby so now it's like uh you know so a lot of men might not want to deal with that and then once you do have the baby and you are a mother he knows that it's probably going to be some men that are not okay with women that have children based on that man's preferences. There, there are men out here that do not specifically, that do not 
date women with children. There are. It's men out here. It's a lot of men out here that do not date women that have children. And he knows that. So he says, if I could take you off the market and I can have you all to myself and I can purposefully get you pregnant, that's going to cut down on a lot of men. It's not going to cut down on all men because it's still going to be men that still don't care, that's still going to love you for you, and still going to know that you're a package deal. But he knows that a lot more men are going to be like, or a lot of other men are going to be like, uh, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to raise another man's baby. Or I don't want to be in that package deal situation, you know, or I want to come first. I don't want to come second to nobody else. I want to come first. I don't want to come second to somebody else's kid when I want to come first with this woman, you know, or, you know, that man might feel like, oh, that, that woman cannot be as flexible as a woman without kids, you know, so he knows that, okay, if I can get her pregnant, it's going to be a lot of men that do not want to deal with that, you know, and that's going to cut down on the competition, because that man might be, that man might be insecure or that man might feel like, oh, you know, I don't want nobody else to have her. He's just selfish and just territorial and he just wants you all for himself. And he knows that, okay, if I can cut down on as much men as possible by getting this woman pregnant, then I can have her all to myself and I can have pure access and control over her life. Because guess what? She's pregnant and or she has a child now with me. So if I got her pregnant and, and let's say she either she's pregnant or she's currently pregnant or let's say she already had the baby, she can't go out how she used to go out no more because she got to find a babysitter now. She can't go out how she used to go out. She used to be able to, hey, hey, her friends call her up. Hey, I'm on the way. I'm outside. What's up? You know, now she's like, hold on. I got to find a babysitter. Hold on, y'all. I got to call around, see if somebody going to watch my kid for me, stuff like that. Or like, or if you are currently pregnant, you're not really probably trying to go out anyways, or you can't smoke, you can't drink, you know, you can't do, you can't eat certain foods and stuff. You, it's, it's certain things that you cannot do while you're pregnant. So you, so again, he's cutting down on outside. So now you can't go outside no more. You're more domesticated. If you're more in, if I can keep you in the house, I got more access and more control over you because you don't have all that distractions around you. And then also when you're pregnant or if you have a child, it's going to be a lot of men that do not want to deal with that, right? So I'm cutting down even more men that want you or that did want you before. You used to go out and use a party and there's a lot of men that liked you and wanted you, right? Now you're not outside no more. So you're not seeing those men anymore that you that used to, that used to you know, party with you or have fun with you because you're not outside no more. So I'm cutting those men off. Then I'm getting you pregnant. So I'm cutting even more men off that don't want to deal with kids. Even though there are a lot of men that will still have sex with you and will still want to talk to you while you're pregnant. And there are men that still don't care that you have a children or, or have, have a child or have children. It's men that don't care and that will still marry you and that still want to be with you. But he knows that it's still a lot other men that don't want to deal with it. So I cut down on the men outside that you used to party with and I cut down on other men that once had their eye on you and that once liked you and once wanted to be with you, but now that you're pregnant, that's gonna that's gonna take away a lot of men that was like, oh, she pregnant now? Oh dang, oh dang, she pregnant? Oh no, nah, I don't wanna deal with her no more. Oh no, nah, I don't like her no more. Nah, she, I mean she's still cute, she's still bad, but dang, like she pregnant now? Like I I'm cool on it now. Like I, I don't find her as attractive as I once did. And that's the truth, and I'm sorry that it's that it's like that, ladies. I, but it's like that. But it's like that with a lot of men. A lot of men view view women with children as a liability and not an asset. There's a lot of men that view women as a liability. Like, oh, you got kids? Oh, no, I'm cool on it. So that's why he's trying to take you off the market so that more men don't even like, want no access to you. Even though there are men that don't care, but he still knows that it's a lot. It's still a lot of men that do care and that don't want to deal with it. They don't want to deal with a woman that has children. So that's that. So. Ladies, again, those are my five reasons why men will try to trap you with the baby. So, again, before you even get in this situation, if you are a woman that does not currently have children, then make sure that the man that you are having sex with, all the men that you're having sex with, make sure that you are protecting yourself so that you do not set yourself up to go through any of these things. To be trapped or to even be in a situation where you don't even want to be in. Do not do not even be in those situations. Or if you are a woman that let's say you already had a baby with a man and it just didn't work out. Or he did trap you with a baby and stuff like that. 
You know, all you can do is just move forward. Okay? There's nothing you can do. You can't go back in time. But all you can do is move forward. And, you know, just know that there are men that still that still want a family and that don't care about having a blended family and that still wants women uh, that have children and that don't care. There's still men that don't care. But make sure that the next guy that you do give yourself to, make sure that you're protecting yourself so that you don't keep having this cycle of you having this baby daddy, this baby daddy, this baby daddy, this baby daddy, this kid, this kid, this kid, this kid, this kid, with all these different baby daddies and none of them are married to you and none of them want to be in your in your life and they're all making your life just a misery and you just struggle and you're a struggling single mother with all these kids and all these different baby daddies and there's just so much going on. So to cut down all that, if you are going to have sex, Please, please, please make sure that you are protecting yourself. I don't care how good it feels. I don't care what. Oh, oh, it just feels so good. Or I'm allergic to condoms. Then don't have the you. Then if you're allergic, if you're allergic to condoms, then get on birth control. If you don't want to get on birth control, and the, the, the pull out method only works for so long. I'm gonna just be real with you. Him pulling out of you and stuff. It, it, hey, it's, you're playing Russian roulette. It's all. It's, it, it does not work all the time. You know that man might come out late. He might, he might, he might not, he might not pull out on time. He might not. He might not pull out on time. So that's something that you have to worry about. So just make sure that, you know, he is protecting himself so that it takes away a lot of that worry. Okay? That takes away a lot of that worry. So you just got to understand that, okay, again, these are reasons why men will try to trap you with a baby. But you also have to prevent it from happening and you have that power as a woman to prevent that you have that power make sure that man is using the condom that's how you do it and don't just be giving yourself to just anybody just because if it is a man that you do want to have unprotected sex with then make sure that a really really you know you want him to be your husband one day and so that you don't have to be a baby mama because you don't want to have to be a baby mama right you want to be a wife not a baby mama and then let's just say, okay, you gonna do it anyways, and you're just gonna, you just don't care, and you just wanna, you just wanna have sex unprotected anyways. Then at least make sure that it's a man that is a sustainable, and he can support the baby with you. And then B, it's a man that you actually care about, and he cares about you back. And C, it's a man that you could really trust. And even then, it's still kind of fishy because you still want him to be married to you. Because a lot of times, all that lovey-dovey stuff go out the window once the baby's born. And once you have a kid with somebody, you can see how that man really feels about you. Because it was all butterflies and rainbows before y'all had the baby. But now that he has the baby, now he don't care no more because he feels like he got you wrapped around his finger. And you're not going to go nowhere. So now he treats you like whatever because he know that you can't go nowhere. So he used to he used to appreciate you before, but now he don't appreciate you now, and now he take you for granted because he, he feels like you always gonna be there. So I so don't even do that. So I'll just say just my advice to you is don't even wear wear my advice to you is wear a condom every time. My advice to you is make sure that you're protecting yourself and don't just be giving yourself raw and freely and just unprotectedly without any type of contraception or without protecting yourself. Period. So, ladies, those are my five reasons why men will try to trap women with a baby. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'm out of here. So, to the next video.